can the type of laundry detergent, softener, and bleach, as well as how much we use, damage our Splendide? Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. <laughs> and I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. Ain't that the truth? I have the Splendide Laundry Center Big Capacity XC WCDV 220 XCD. For more information, I'm going to link the playlist of all the Splendide videos that I've made up above for you to look at at a later date. First, we're going to talk about our laundry aid dispenser. We're going to open it up. And once we open it up, we see three chambers, or at least what looks to be like three chambers. You're going to take the first bucket out right here. Just going to set that aside for a second. And what we have is chamber number one, chamber number two, chamber number three, and then what I took out is actually chamber number four. We're going to talk about these each individually. This is chamber number one. This is where you put your pre-wash detergent if you use it. You can only use the powder kind. And just for a note, you have to choose between the pre-wash or the bleach. You cannot use them both in the same cycle. This is chamber number two. I have it set up to use liquid detergent. So this is slot number three. This is where we put our softener, and we're gonna talk more about that when I show you how to measure and how much softener and type of softener that we put in it. Compartment number four is the compartment that we took out to use the pre-wash. It just sits back there, right back over compartment number uh, one. Now we only take it out if we're gonna use pre-wash. I keep it in all the time um, because I don't use pre-wash, and that's where your bleach will go. We're gonna talk about compartment number two and what kind of detergent we're gonna use. I'm gonna be talking about liquid detergent because that's what I use. In the Splendide machine, it's important that you use only HE, high efficient detergent. It doesn't matter what brand. However, it does matter how much you put into your dispenser. You should only use one to two tablespoons. I use two tablespoons, but I don't wanna measure out two tablespoons every time I um, do laundry so I'm going to show you a little hack that I do. I actually pour all my detergent into a squirt bottle and then I measure out two tablespoons and I see how many squirts that it takes to make two tablespoons and I write it on the bottle. Let me show you how. I just fill up my squirt bottle with the detergent of choice. Remember it should be HE. Now I purchased my bottle from um, Amazon. I'm sure you can get them anywhere. I can put that Amazon link in the description in case you choose to do this as well. I'm going to put my squirt lid on. So I know I want two tablespoons. So I'm going to see how many squirts it takes from my squirt bottle to make two tablespoons. So I have a tablespoon here. You only have to do this one time only once you know, you know. So I'm going to push it just to show you one, two, three, and my tablespoon is full. So three plus three is six. So it's gonna take six squirts for me to add into my dispenser when I am ready to put my detergent in. So I remember just how much I want to do or put in. I am going to write that on the bottle. Now I happen to use gain, so I do wanna put this as gain. And it takes six squirts and there it is anybody's doing laundry here will know they just need to put in six squirts when they're doing a load of laundry next we're going to talk about the softener and this used in compartment number three which is this compartment right here for my softener I also use a squirt bottle this makes it easier since it only suggests one to two tablespoons and so we will fill that up and see how many squirts it takes. Splendide recommends using biofriendly fabric softener or similar brand. These softeners appear light in color. As you see, mine's a little bit thicker. The light in color dissolves more quickly in less water and minimizes the buildup within your machine. 
I wanted to continue using my fabric softener. So what I do is add a little bit of water to my softener to get um, a little less thickness with my fabric softener. Now I, that's personally me, that's not Splendide recommending it, just telling you what I do. They re recommend the bio-friendly or the lighter looking softeners. I have my tablespoon so that I can measure out my softener. My softener is a little thinner now. One, two, three. Whoa, four, you have to be kind of gentle. So four, four and four is eight because I do like to use the two tablespoons instead of the one tablespoon. So I will put eight squirts of softener in there. And I'll also mark that here so if anybody else in the rig, which is kind of highly doubtful, does laundry, they'll know to put eight squirts of softener. Or if I forget. there's my softener and washer it's easy access I don't have to unscrew anything I just take it down I know I'm putting six squirts into my compartment one two three four five six and it's important not to use too much detergent this will uh, damage your machine and I know I'm putting eight squirts of softener in here. Now it's suggested because of the um, water and how little water it uses to make sure you add softener every load. This helps um, with the clothes and the washing machine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I am ready to wash my clothes. So simple when you use the squirt bottles. Just a little DIY trick. So the only time you use the bleach is when you are cleaning your machine out and if you're not familiar with that I'll put the link up above of how to clean your machine using the clean cycle and bleach. The only other time you will use the bleach is when you are using whites and you will put your bleach right here in this compartment. Just a warning, Splendide says never ever use dryer sheets in your Splendide washer. Splendide says not to use the splash less bleach. This will suds up in your compartment, also creating a lot of damage. So refrain from using the splash less bleach. It's like a tongue twister for me. If you want to use powder detergent, you have an A slot and a B slot. You'll simply take this little slide out of A slot. It's not too hard. <laughs> and you will put it in B slot. And now you're ready to use um, powdered detergent. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please hit that like button. It helps um, YouTube send it to more people. And if you wanna see more of our RV and things that we do here, please subscribe and ring that notification bell.